Hey there, lovely soul. I'm Infinity and welcome to the May 2021 Gemini Tarot and Oracle read. I'm really excited about this reading because we're doing things a bit differently. First, just getting a few uh, tarot cards and then diving into the Kim Kranz archetype oracle. We're pulling one card from each of her different sets of archetypes so the selves the places the tools and the initiations or the themes and that's like one of that's like the signature reading for this oracle and i was guided to provide that for these general readings now welcome sun moon and uh rising for gemini and of course cross watchers again i'm infinity shaman mystic psychic physical empath medical medium distance healer I work with people and animals. I channel, I do mediumship, obviously tarot and oracle. You can work one-on-one -on -one with me for all of that ascension coaching, deep energy healing, and spiritual connections. My website is thehealingbutterfly.org and I have a special for mediumship for Mother's Day through the 15th of May. And I just put out my first in my empath video videos uh, video series it is the empath um, quiz with some information in the beginning and I walk you through each one of my questions in my empath ebook that you can find on my website as well so without further ado let's get into it Gemini I hope you're doing well. I hope you're excited for me. I certainly am. Uh, if you missed your full moon uh, tarot and oracle, I suggest you check that out. No, I'm not taking that yet. I suggest you t you check that out. Um, it's the reading is whenever I do full moon and new moon, it's full moon to new moon, new moon to full moon reading. So it overlaps with this reading. So together you could get a really good indication of where you're at and what to look for for yourself. Okay, I'm just being guided to do some extra clearing here. If I could shuffle these cards, that would be helpful. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Judgment in reverse. These may switch. Queen of Swords straight up. Three of Pentacles straight up. Two of Pentacles straight up. The Fool in reverse. Interesting. And the Lovers in reverse. Okay, let me just check in and see if we're keeping the cards that are in reverse in reverse. Yeah, okay. Keeping them in reverse, I'm hearing. Alrighty, so. Okay, so what I'm picking up from the get here is we need, there's something about, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something here about getting into balance, Gemini. Um, that twin thing you have, those two sides of yourself trying to come into greater alignment. Um, really contemplating, uh, how you feel, what you think, um, looking to your guides and guardians, um, really asking, really asking some questions, just e whether it's you're meditating or you're, um,
Or you're just thinking. You're just... Excuse me. Sometimes I'll tend to yawn if I once I start connecting. It's weird. Ears start going weird. I start yawning. Um, I get really sniffly. Nose will start running with my third eye opening and doing all that stuff. So heads up. Um. Okay, so this judgment in reverse. So I'm feeling like there's some type of stuckness here, like really wanting to have more information, more clarity, more facts. You have the fool in reverse and it's supposed to be in reverse. So it's like there's a bit of resistance here about moving forward, about this balancing out of energies. Um, and we have the lovers in reverse too. So um, it's just, this is showing me that there's energies. We have judgment, the fool and the lovers yeah three major arcana is all in reverse um at the corner at the like book ending this and um it feels like we're seeking information and we are um Oh, okay, that's what I wanted. Um, we are seeking information and wanting to connect, asking, ask, wondering, like, are there, like, am I really getting information? Are there these connections? Um, is spirit with me? Am I, like, oh, this is... <laughs> Like this in between, wanting to believe, wanting to surrender, but you're still in that mental zone, still in that, um, that type of energy of not fully ready to fall back in and surrender. Um, but this time period for you is starting. It's like it's coming. And it's getting more um, this union between this. The lovers is is deeper love, deeper intimacy, deeper connection. Um, so with this, I see it with with yourself, those two sides of yourself, and the and the the divine masculine, the divine feminine represented here as well. But this is also representing your higher and your lower selves or your you know your human aspect and your and your soul aspect coming into alignment so this is this is coming in you just have you're just looking for kind of you're looking for more things tangible more things in that like scientific logical type of realm where um you're not gonna find your answers there and i think you're starting to see to see and understand that so let's get right into our um oracle here with the archetypes, we're going to get our self card first. Sometimes it takes a minute <laughs> for it to for me to feel it or it to stick out. There it is. We're not going to turn it over just yet. 
We're gonna go to the places next. Let's do places. So we got our self card. And then we'll crack open the book and I'm gonna read directly from the book and put this all together for you. And then we will get a final oracle card. I'm not sure from what oracle deck. I'm, it, I've been guided to leave that open until the end. Um, and then we'll get our tools archetype. That one. And then we'll get our initiations slash theme. It's called the initiations, but I also like to say theme just because people don't really, it's like initiation, um, but it's, it's the theme of like the overall theme of the rest of the cards. Okay. And there we go. So, whoa. Let's see what we got. Gemini. We got the unseen. Well, imagine that. <laughs> I'm like, you're looking for stuff. <laughs> um, the desert. is your place the mask is your tool interesting now remember these cards are telling us where it's at where it or where it needs to be focused and then we have thanatos as your um initiation and theme okay so let's get into it with the unseen There it is. Page 115. Um, okay, if I could turn the page. There we go. Wow. Okay, the spirit, the ancestor, the eternal. The unseen is just as it sounds. We cannot see it, yet it sees us, watching and waiting with wisdom, both kind and instructive. We feel this present, sense it, into it, into it, it. It's a weird way to put words, into it, it. <laughs> and then doubt its existence. Though it rallies our attention time and time again, the energy of the unseen may come in many forms. A compelling dream, a sudden insight, a clear voice, a vision, or message from a loved one who has passed to the other side. It is n natural to fear these communications as they challenge our perception of what is real. When this card appears, your guides are near. The eternal is present. The doorway between worlds is ajar. Listen, the sounds may seem as though they come from a distant land, but they call from your innermost chambers. Exactly. Holy moly. So that's what I was saying here. Feeling like there's information that wants to come in that's there for you. This like new way of seeing this new perspective, but you're you're still attributing logic and tangible like material things to the things that cannot be seen that can only be felt and heard within the soul when you connect like i said your guides are wanting to come in you have these cards are literally like this okay so this is you regardless of gender the queen of swords is you thinking contemplative up swords represent thought and logic thinking thinking brain um and then you have your three of pentacles there's this three of pentacles cards to me always represents your guides connecting with you as well as you collaborating with other people coming into into you know connection with others um uh, there, this card in this, in this deck, in this situation always shows me, um, this like higher, higher level, either your higher self, your guardian angel, archangels, ancestors, spirit, whomever represents this guy in the green shirt or all of them could be all of them or just that dude is just one of them, whomever they're coming through. As I said, um, we have this like, 
uh, this the fool card in reverse. Now, right side up, she is she's got that awesome amethyst in her hand, which would be me. She's got um, that branch again, um, holding on to uh, what's real, but she's letting go um, back first into this pool of the infinite, of this um, of the flower of life and or the seed of life and she want and she doesn't need to to have to any more than that um and so there's that connection there okay so let's move on to the desert one fifty seven Okay, maybe not 157. What? I thought I saw 157. Oh, 151. Okay, what is the problem here? Oh, that's a three. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> that three and that five was, they're written in the tiniest red type that's so hard to read. Okay, here we go. The desert, the drought, the wasteland, the badlands. The desert leaves us disoriented, desperate for a direction, grasping for meaning, longing for solid ground. For endless miles, we are confronted with the lack of clarity and existential dread. We are thirsty, hungry, pleading with life to get back to normal, to become animated by the simple pleasantries of day-to-day -day life. The desert offers no such comfort and all must pass through it. If you can embrace the discomfort of the desert, knowing you will someday reach water again, you can tap into the potent energy of the landscape. Its lights are blinding, bright, and its darks are terrifyingly deep, which makes for the unbridled creativity and clairvoyant visions. Truths reside in the desert, that otherwise remained hidden. The crows, the shadows, the coyotes call surround you. Let the winds and sands work their deep magic, weary traveler. When light, surreal, strange, unexpected visions and silence. When dark, drying, uh, dreading, disorienting, isolating. Yeah, so here, so we kind of have these this theme going on, right? Wanting, searching, you know, looking for something that isn't there. Okay, let's get to the mask. One eighty-seven. Pretty sure I wrote, saw that right. Yeah, 187, the mask. So here's the mask. Oh, and that was the desert. There's another look at the desert card for you. Sorry about that. Just jumped right to it. Okay, the persona, the performance, the reveal. We often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity, yet contemplate the possibility that the mask permits our true identity to be revealed. It allows. The mask gives voice to that which was previously rejected. When this card appears, enact the side of you that is seeking expression yet has never given a role to play in this stage of your life. You are in the realm of theater, so anything is possible. Speak with the other's voice. Embody the other's limbs. You are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self. There may be mischief and deception around, and others may be trying on new masks too. No one is sure who is who. It's likely you've become so attached to a single mask that you need to fall face forward into its perception-bending time. Trust it. 
And when light reveals what has been suppressed and when dark further conceals what is rejected. Okay, yeah. So again, this is like being of one way but needing to go into the other having one set of of parameters of perception for yourself of who you are what the world is there's masks everywhere concealing with illusion what is behind it what is at the core of who we are and you my dear gemini um, definitely dealing with this mask energy in the desert, the unseen. Just put yourself in this scene with a mask on in the desert and not seeing all the spirit and everything around you. So to remove your mask will remove the mask of illusion through the desert. So you may see. Wow. Okay. And next Thanatos. Let's get there. Wait, which one's that? I think this is. There it is. Okay. Death. It is tempting to oversimplify death and sum it up as transformation. But the true archetypal resonance of Thanatos cannot be easily assimilated or contained. Death is ongoing and omnipresent and in eternal response to the gift of birth witnessing the ending of another being creature phase or stage has deep consequences for the psyche we are forever changed by thanatos as it sweeps us under its wings making us relinquish control in every form it leaves a mark of ash upon our heart signifying we have touched the cusp of the underworld and will return to the land of the living eventually with more compassion and wisdom to share this capacity is needed in our world one who has faced the annihilation of thanatos can face anything when this card appears it signifies an initiation into the underworld and when light grieving mourning bearing witness to all that is and when dark fear or insensitivity to old age illness and dying wow wow gemini <laughs> holy holy shit so Like I said, um, the fool in reverse. And this is really interesting because this whole picture that this just painted for us is the fact that you're in the in-between. You, you're... You're not yet still comfortable in the status quo in where you've been your whole life, whether that's 20 years or 80 years or anything in between. This is a time when you're like really questioning what's what about life in general. Um, you're witnessing more mask um energy within yourself and within others just the illusion of of concealment of what is underneath be going needing to go through that that isolation that that nothingness of the desert but there's so much there so depending on perspective right um and then with the debt with this death with thanatos bringing in this energy letting you know like everything is in its natural cycle as are you and you don't need to actually physically die to be utterly transformed remember how it says knowing the all being part of it and going through that there's not once you go through that trust me and it is how it says you can do anything it's like your fear it's like drops off because everything that's holding that mask and keeping the unseen at bay 
is keeping you where you're at and from progress from moving forward and that's what this is saying there is all of this energy coming in to get you into that alignment with yourself with your soul and eventually with others that are of the same vibration same soul group pod whatever however you want to put it um, but you're, and you may be also in transition with um, needing to leave others behind, needing to really crack this open and change everything. And that could be part of the problem here. That you know, once you step through this and allow for everything to come in, it's like saying, okay, let the tsunami come. It's going to throw, it's going to just toss my whole world around and I know that's happening I know it's going to happen once I cross over once I allow this all to come in and really be part of my world and that can be very daunting overwhelming and scary um in fact and that's where this is at it's like what will be become of me who then am I do I have any control and you do this whole thing is under your control um but things will definitely come in to show you to kind of you know squeeze the juice from the situation and let you see look at what we have here don't don't disregard what's on the inner just to keep this like you need to get to the juice so you're gonna have to slice this orange open you can't just leave it like that and expect for it to just work indefinitely because the orange will wither and get dry and be something that you it isn't viable anymore for you um so definitely consider um doing some letting go i think there's cords that need to be cut here to your current situation people places circumstances you understanding that your natural evolution and progression in this life in this journey is about cracking open it's like those the nesting dolls right just pulling one out of the other because there's more and more and more and more and you have guidance you have your ancestors you have loved ones that have crossed over that are just like waiting to help you and you're just like but does that actually exist hmm you know when people die can they still communicate with you is life ever eternal and infinite does there is there a god what is an angel is that bullshit like all of this stuff and it's like it's understandable those are questions that we all need to ask ourselves like how real is this stuff and when it's unseen my dear we have to go on faith and trust and what we know to be true in our hearts but we have to unlock that to walk through it to even get the information to begin with so that's where you what i'm getting for you here with all these cards my dears let's get into an oracle for your final message where are we going i'm hearing the dragon oracle oh fun <laughs> okay deep stuff here always deep with the dragon so this is the oracle of the dragon fate by lucy cavendish as i said we're going to get into an oracle i didn't know what which one but here it is the dragon fate oracle very deep very spiritually connected the dragons am i doing this right yes the dragons are of angelic origin and so they are extremely connected with um with you with archangels with your guardian angels with um gaia they work very closely and lovingly healing her her body her elements and all of us working with us and they are of air earth water fire ether and they cross over into all dimensions and spaces and time this is why they were created to to move through um dimensions in the different ways that they can so let's get you a card here lovely gemini let's see what we have because you're going through a a very interesting delicate time Lady Tatiana, be joyful. And as you can see, that is the picture of seeing double. Deja vu. <laughs> 
this is the picture for this oracle so let me grab the book here card number five five symbolizing change of course um and let's get into it be joyful tatiana speaks celebrate yourself there is no true happiness without joy in being who you are over this next moon cycle the forthcoming 28 days and 28 and a half days many opportunities will come to you to play revel dance and explore the moonlit and joyful part of yourself that has been truly too long neglected it is time to come forth from the place where you have been taking shelter and quiet time and partake of the joy and good sweet company know that everyone including the beings of the dragon fae is delighted and happy to know your ability to delight in your own self celebrate and we celebrate with you hail joyful kindred spirit and welcome to the feast Oh my goodness. And I'm going to read here divinatory meanings, bringing people together in life changing, sacred and meaningful gatherings, mother mothering others joy joyously, being greater than you appear to be, understanding the need for joy and happiness in gatherings and delight in company of soulmates, family agreements and packs that are reinforced through celebration coming together in community with friends finding your soul family being protected and nurtured by friends and soul family and working with tatiana connecting with others at gathering even if they are very small considering hosting gatherings of like-minded souls be prepared to balance your inner extrovert and introvert understanding the need for family and for you to nurture those connections very very deep connections with others can still be playful okay so this is awesome because it's this message what i'm feeling with this is like yes this is serious about who you are and what you are and what is coming in and what is real and what is illusion and what is fantasy and what is the truth and all of this stuff can be very serious and overwhelming um but we're reminded here to not let it overwhelm us and take over and be too serious. We need to have levity and light and laughter and joy and 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 be patient with ourselves and not um um, get frustrated with where we are and the other message coming in here that was so like every time I read it and said it was soul family and and in this instance your soul family on the other side of the veil is really coming through and really wanting really saying we we are the unseen we will be with you we are with you in the desert we will eliminate the masks all around you in and all of this can happen in a happy joyful connected to others kind of way you're not separated this is going on with so many other people this is going or this has gone on with others this um you have support on both sides with your soul family you'll be guided to those who can help you in the physical um help you connect to them help clear the fog like i said i do mediumship work i work with um i am a shaman so i cross over into those upper realms to connect people with their guides and guardians um and and for healing, I work with Gaia, I work with the Archangels. So some of us have gone through the labyrinth and figured out all this, well, not all of it, but enough of it to help others. And so that's soul family too. So I am soul family to so many that I don't even know and don't even know me yet. But because of our long infinite histories, there's so many people that when they, um, when it's time, it's like it's like an alarm that goes off and the person hears that alarm and starts to find where it's coming from where's that beep coming from ever hear a beep and you don't know where it's coming from and you start to try to like locate the beep 
that's what it's about so this is saying on both sides of the veil on the in this reality where you're awake and alive every single day there is soul family and when you meditate when you contemplate when you go within when you think when you when you decide to connect with um those higher and with yourself with your own soul and those higher level beings beings that soul family too and in order to get through this is as easily as you possibly can think about connecting with soul family you don't have to say stay separated you don't have to feel like you're all alone in this so many of us are in uh, on the same ride some of us a little ahead some of us a little behind but it's all the same ride we're all in it together we're all soul family we all need each other to help us um, move forward and those on the other side are so ready to help you and those of us on this side are so ready to help you it's just up to you to decide to have faith and trust and 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 patience with yourself and the process and and to move forward from a state of of love for yourself and in a state of of doing what is best for you, taking care of you, doing a life inventory. Where am I? Where have I been? What's going on? What What is here for the future? What has just been here that I need to let go of and move forward? What needs deconstruction? What needs reconstruction? This kind of thing. And your soul family, your... um your guides and guardians, um, angels, dragons, uh, fae, galactics, ascended masters, spirit animals, your um, crossed over loved ones, friends, family, everybody. Everybody I'm seeing um, really coming through here, wanting you to get into greater balance. And see this card, if this card wasn't here, judgment is about um what needs to be in balance what where are we getting what are, what's coming see this like le releasing thing this is what needs to happen it's like oh yes i'm connected and just oh, release and then this new energy can come in so it's just about to take over it's about to take over same thing with the fool like once this happens we'll connect all these things we'll get in a greater balance this fool energy can come in which is about new beginnings having faith start Starting fresh, starting over. And then again, remember the lovers in reverse. This is again soul family. So um, soulmate, soul family, this sort of thing. Aside from this being about you and your own soul. Um, okay, Gemini. Wow, this is a really awesome read. I hope you take these messages to heart. I hope that they resonate with you on some level. Whatever is meant for you. You're here watching this for a reason. So um just you know take some time to think about it ruminate on it and call in your guides go to meditation go out and walk in nature connect with the um spirit of this message that's coming in for you don't forget to check out my website for more details on that mediumship um special that i have running through the 15th and i just put out that new video for empaths so check that out as well and don't forget to check out those other um videos for you sun moon rising and uh, leave a comment like subscribe i hope to see you here again until next time infinite love and blessings gemini bye for now